Revelation 6 verses 12 to 13, When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. Earthquake in Turkey Earthquake in Indonesia Earthquake in Hawaii Earthquake in Japan Earthquake in Guadeloupe There are so many earthquakes happening all over the world counting this day. We are witnessing a huge catastrophe engulfing the world with tremendous consequences. Now Lord Jesus says to Luz de Maria, this is the moment in which the son of perdition acts through his vassals in order not to be seen, he knows that humanity is approaching the warning and before the trials that he faces and those that he will face soon, he is permeable to sin and tempts him to lead them to forget about me. My people must be careful, the vultures that prowl at this time are attacking to hurt them, divide them, or give them death. Do not neglect personal prayer and the practice of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy, without which prayer is incomplete. Act, my children. My word must be made known to all my children, now. Without loss of time. The wolves have left their sheep's clothing and attack without dissimulation, few remain as lambs, being wolves. These will suffer severely at the time of the warning. The son of perdition maintains power on earth through his elite, waiting to appear before my people, although my people do not desire it. He will invade the minds of all through his worldwide presentation at the same moment, all over the earth. My children, the disease continues, the famine comes sooner than you think, the reduction of the world population started with the present disease and they will continue with that demonic plan. You must convert now before the next event arrives without my children deciding for real change. You cannot continue to be the same men who walk in rags. Surrender yourselves to me out of love, stop looking at yourselves as creatures without errors, when these are continuously transpired by the skin. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Pray for the United States, it is suffering a great earthquake. Pray for Bolivia, it trembles, Argentina, a rebellious people, it trembles. Pray for Japan, it trembles. Pray for Central America, its soil is shaking. Pray, the volcanoes continue to awaken, my children do not obey, they continue in their turmoil and receive the fruit of disobedience to my house. My mother and my beloved Saint Michael the Archangel have given you the medicines to combat present and coming illnesses. Bless the food you put in your mouth. The contamination of the fruit of the earth is serious for the organism of the human creature. My people, be attentive. Danger lurks, do not lose the moment. Attention. Conversion is urgent. You must remain attentive to the events of my church. Do not fear, my people, be faithful to my house and my mother, do not fear. Seal your homes and be true. My blessing is for each one of you who receives this call with respect and attention. Your Jesus. Brethren, our Lord Jesus Christ emphatically calls us to conversion, so that we may succeed in maintaining the faith in the coming moments where personal faith will be measured. We remain in these moments before the grave and great changes announced by our Lord, by our Blessed Mother, and by Saint Michael the Archangel. Moments that seemed far away, when some of our brothers did not even want to read the prophecies because they saw them as too distant from this generation. The way to seal a dwelling, as instructed by our Lord, is to anoint the doorframe with blessed oil or holy water and invoke the intercession of Saint Michael the Archangel. Brothers, let's soften a stone heart. Salvation or the abyss is developing before our age. Beware of being ignorant, conversion is required. We should choose salvation now that it has been stated that we are already living as a generation. 
Because we are obedient people, let's not depart. Let's be prepared for the Holy Spirit to awaken each of our gifts to serve our Lord as His genuine children by reviving them inside us. According to Luz de Maria, earthquakes are a sign of God's mercy and a call to repentance. She warns that the increase in seismic activity around the world is a clear indication that humanity is moving further away from God and that we must turn back to Him before it is too late. Luz de Maria's message is not new, the Bible speaks of earthquakes as a sign of the end times, and many other prophecies and visions have also foretold of a great shaking that will take place before the return of Christ. In her message, Luz de Maria explains that earthquakes are not only physical events but also have a spiritual dimension. She says that the earthquakes that we see in the world today are a reflection of the spiritual earthquakes that are happening in the hearts of people. She believes that the increase in violence, immorality, and godlessness in the world is causing a great spiritual upheaval that is manifesting itself in the physical realm through earthquakes and other natural disasters. Luz de Maria warns that these earthquakes are not random occurrences but are part of God's plan to awaken humanity from its spiritual slumber. She urges people to repent of their sins and turn to God, for only through Him can we find true peace and security in these turbulent times. As we see an increase in seismic activity around the world, it is important to take heed of Luz de Maria's message and the message of other prophets and seers who have warned of the spiritual significance of earthquakes. We must not be complacent or dismissive of these events, but rather see them as a wake-up call to turn back to God and seek His mercy and forgiveness. The prophecy on earthquakes is a reminder that we live in a time of great spiritual upheaval, and that we must turn to God and seek His mercy and forgiveness if we are to find true peace and security in these turbulent times. May we heed this call and take the necessary steps to prepare ourselves spiritually for the shaking that is yet to come.